hello guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're gonna learn about view mixins it is very common when you are developing a application that is full of components at some point you may have two or more components that have many common features for example in two or more components you have common data properties and common methods and you may want to remove these duplicate code from the application for that you may decide to combine those component and create a single component it may reduce the duplicacy of the code but the component structure will become more complicated to resolve this issue Vue.js provides us mixins. In mixins, we extract duplicate code into the mixins and we use mixins in those components. Let's see an example of it. So first let's clean up this component that we have used in the previous tutorial. Let's say here we have a products component. So here I'll create product.view template script now in this component we have a data property and it contains products array next we have methods in this method we have load products method which simply returns some products in real life project you may fetch these products from the api from the server for now i am just returning here hard coded products product a product b product c product d next in the created hook this created hook is a view component lifecycle hook it is executed when the view component is created so here I'll say this dot product is equal to this dot load products. We are fetching the data from load products. Next, let's print these products right here. Here we have another list and li and here we'll say v hyphen four product in products. Uh, to fix this error here we will need to bind a key so here we will say product in fact with index next here we will say bind key and index finally here we will say we have a text product this is all we need next let's print this right here so here we will say import components product and here we will print that products let's see this in browser and here we have products list similarly let's say we have another component let's say sitemap so he'll say sitemap dot view template script and in this sitemap we will print some links so unordered list again in this unordered list we have a light tag it will have home about products and we will print some products list so again sql right and we fetch the products list here which will have some common data from this product for that i'm going to copy all of these and paste right here let's copy this from here and paste it right here let's import this here sitemap and 
here I'll add oriental line and side map. See this in browser. Uh, it's not worked. Oh, we just forgot to register right here. Now let's see this, and here we get. Now here you can notice that we have this duplicate code in both sitemap and product component. Now to remove this duplicate code, we use mixin. So let's here create a directory mixins. Create a new file product mixin.js and and we're gonna copy this from here and paste it right here. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna remove all of these and here we're gonna import mixins and product mixin. And next here we'll create mixins and we pass here. That's all we need here. And if we see this in the browser, it works exactly the same. Similarly, we'll do this in the sitemap component also. We're just gonna copy all of these. And paste it here and in the browser it works the same now you, here you can see all of the duplicate code is extracted into this product mixins now here you may ask question that in this product mixin we have this data property now can we create this data property right here the answer is yes we can create all these methods and properties right here and we will gonna merge them let's see an example so here we have data and it returns let's say title sitemap and we're gonna print that right here h1 sitemap it's not working oops not sitemap it's title now you can see here a heading is printed and in this data property view has merged the, this data mixins are very useful to remove the duplicacy of the code and we can encapsulate small piece of code which is reusable in the multiple components this is all in this video if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video mm -hmm.